You started out in New York City with Upright Citizens Brigade mm -hmm. uh, and, and famous, no, no, obviously. One person loves it. One person's like, yay! yay! I'm Yell a out a location. <clears throat> no, they are the uh, iconic uh, sketch group, yep. uh, improv uh, company. Uh, when, you, when did you first start doing television? You started out doing improv in the theater. Yeah. How did you get your first TV gig? In New York at the time, this is like the early 2000s, there, was, like, there weren't a lot of TV shows there. So it, opportunities were doing bits on your old show, which yeah, we, did, we, we all did a lot of, which were very fun and exciting. Um, and then like my first big job that was like, I couldn't believe I was so excited was the heyday of the prank show. Right after Punked, there was like a million prank shows. I remember this that. This one was yeah. called, it, was, it never went anywhere because I'm gonna describe to you what the show was and you'll be like, oh, of course that would never succeed. It was called Roommate Wanted and it was a bunch of guys in a Tribeca loft, beautiful, huge apartment, and we were gonna prank people who needed an apartment. <laughs> right? Yeah. People who are sad yeah. and broke right. and without a home, yeah. we were gonna draw out this prank for weeks. We meet, so they come to the thing, and we all have like things in our ears so that they're like, you know, telling us to, basically the people would come and we would with them, yeah. you know, and make them stay in the apartment as long as we could. And they would eventually start to kind of lose their minds. Because we would get really, there was a bunch of us, and some of us would be nice and then aggressive, and then we would all disappear and leave the person alone. There was this one person who would, one actor who would just be the angry landlord. And it was my job to be like, oh, if the landlord comes by, like, don't talk to him. And then, like, we'd leave the person alone, and then the landlord would show up pissed off with a hammer. <laughs> oh, my God. This is for television. This is for television. And my, my role in it was to be, like, the Mark's friend, like, the person's, like, to make sense of if Andy acted crazy and you were the guy we were pranking, Andy would act crazy, and I'd be like, this guy's crazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm good cop. I'm your friend. Right. We're gonna get along great. You're gonna live in there, I'm gonna live upstairs. Don't you worry about it. And at a certain point, the person would look at me and go like, I gotta get out of here, man. What's, what's going on? Right. And pe every single person, and then they'd be like, reveal, do the reveal, do the reveal. And I'd be like, all right, here we go. Ha ha! You're on Roommate Wanted. There's a camera over there, there's a camera over there, there's a camera over there. And the person, every single person we did this to, burst into tears. <laughs> oh my like, God! Boom. <laughs> what? They're like they were in a horror movie. Like, what? What? Like, like everybody started inching their way towards the door, and I'd have to kind of try and corral them back into where the cameras were, because they yeah. instinctively were like, flight, flight. I am being. But also, they're like, I want an apartment. Every single person. And then would they say, like, do I get an apartment they, out of this? Every, oh, every single one of them said some version of, through tears. So wait a second. Is this apartment not even for rent? Because I've given up other apartments and I need a place to live and I don't know what's going on and I don't know if this is real or, because this is going And we were all like, oh no. What have we done? Yeah, you like, ruined a guy's life. Karmically, we all would, at the end of every day, we would be like, oh, this is soul crushing. We are awful, everybody involved was like, oh, we're awful people. This is like a show where you play doctors and it's called Bad Diagnosis. Yes! <laughs> and you go in and just say, and then you get them all freaked out, but it goes on for three weeks and they get yes. treatments get, that are oh, nothing, and then they're like, ah, ha, 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 ha. Exactly. Uh, you're so dumb. Yeah. The person's like, but I really don't feel good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're like, I don't know, we're actors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We injected you with something, but we don't know what it is. It was the blue liquid, funnier when it's blue. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to click subscribe to see even more great Conan clips. You may now return to your pirated movies and creepy Japanese pornography.